There are some camera companies among us that need to feel the pimp hand, the backside, just an upper. Today on the set of Castaway, we discuss which camera companies need their grandmothers to come back and just push their head in some soup. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Thankfully, there's no popping in the audio today. As I just grab my scooter, I just want to get a fun clip of me falling down this cliff as any GoPro hobbyist would. And the audio's not being ruined, of course. Thankfully, because GoPro's not just a bunch of surfers. They have a technician, tech support. If I've learned one thing from watching my good old pal Marcus picks, is to use what you have. Use what the beach provides as sun shielding. I hope there's nothing under there. Is there any turtles under there? Is there a turtle? Why is it so heavy? Oh, you piece of heavy shit. I need a shadowy area to not get the raccoon eyes, so pipes and rocks. How, how is that even a thing? Oh, I got half of it. No, there's not much space in here. Now, the first company that needs a good backhand is GoPro. I just, I can't even use the camera for a clip because it'll give that popping audio. Did it work? I still don't know if that intro worked. Who knows, but every single time I try it, it's just Is it doing it? Just freaking out. And I know it happens to random ones. I got a dud. Corzine, you sent me a dud. What the f GoPro has been plagued since the beginning with issues, audio issues. Stabilization freaks, crashing, overheating, freezing, like everything. You gotta yank the battery on every shot. The cinema is yours, my friend. Go get it and bring it back to us. Oh, you got a friend. That is fantastic. Could you see any of that? I had all these friends and they just flew away as I stood up. I was so unthreatening in my squatted position on the rocks. And now they're like, oh, he's taller than we thought. Go get it, buddy. Go get that fish. Where's our one inch sensor, man? An action cam with a one inch sensor and not Insta 360's version of whatever the hell that was. Not in focus here. That is the problem. The bigger the sensor, the more the tone, the more it's like it's no longer an action cam because if it's an action cam, you want everything out there in focus as you're riding down, risking your life for entertainment. I don't, what the hell is this, a motorcycle? That's what I'm doing, I'm throttling. I'm not doing anything wrong, Mom. This is good. Can't they just make two versions? One is the action cam that has a tiny sensor, everything's in focus. Make it more reliable, at least, so it doesn't burn. Make it a little bigger with a little air duct somewhere. I get it, that's not waterproofing. I don't know what I'm doing. But then you have the vlog version with a media mod that doesn't corrupt your files and overheat the camera. Like, you're doing all this stuff for vloggers, obviously, the media mod, that whole thing is vlog town. Flip up screen, light on the side, it's all bullshit. But it's clearly meant to be for us. It's not working. You know who else can use a stern warning? Every smartphone company with your color science, your unnatural, just as an example, the Huawei P40 Pro in beauty mode right now. Just every little change makes my face change. I've seen like burning red image of fire. Like I was in a war. We're going. I found a spot. Oh, that looks dangerous as shit. Oh, it's so slippery. Oh God, it's sheer rock and ice. <laughs> oh, wow. Every smartphone, it doesn't matter. You. Oh God, is that all mosquitoes? It can't be. Oh man. Oh, the cinema is ours. The biggest sensor, all these smartphones coming out with one inch sensors, they are mosquitoes. But the color science is ruined. It's so oversaturated. And give me a flat image that I can boost and do some stuff and an actual white balance. Does an orange mode my ass? Wow, the skyline. When you just show like the world, it looks fine. Yeah, blue lake, blue sky. Right on, you nailed it. It's the skin tones that get so weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. What I do get is zooming in 
to the CN Tower with a smartphone. How's that possible? The wide angle lens is a little better, I find, but it's still weird and I have to tweak it. I have to like lower the contrast and how come I can't change anything? And I don't even want to try the other ones. The iPhone has never looked right, Samsung's, and now all these like Chinese manufacturers coming out with, oh, we beat you. One inch sensors. Learn what colors are. I tell you, whenever I use this for vlogging, I'm impressed until I compare it to like what you've seen from the Olympus so far. And then it's like, oh God. Then, oh, a guy on a boat. I would need like a super zoom. That's fantastic on a phone. I don't know what the equiv is. 15 times zoom and the widest is 18. So it's the 300 and something. Oh, I should have been looking at the screen and actually following the boat instead of thinking of math in my head. That's on me. But it's this one inch sensor that is the big selling point. It's like you're bigger than most other camera sensors but then the image is so disappointing. I have to switch to the smaller one? That's not a trade-off I should have to make. Why is that so slippery? This is the worst. Pray for me. Pray hard. You know, I just realized why all smartphones have the worst color science. They're all using Sony sensors. It's baked in. You're learning color from a reptilian in caves. All they know is green and brown. And they have to imagine what other, oh, they have to listen to some kid saying, okay, red is like this. And they're like, they're clawing at the thing. Come on now. Oh, the cinema, there's an opportunity for cinema. The cinema's coming to us. Oh, the cinema's ours. Where will you go next? Where will you go, Tony Bird? Come back to us. I'll tell the tales of your people. The next company that could use a pimp push, not really a slap, they're doing better than GoPro, at least they're reliable. Where's our action too? Where's the update to that thing? One inch sensor, of course, in focus here, arm's length. Nobody's doing it, nobody cares about this. Just making content at arm's length, telling the world your story at a beach. Where is it? What is that? That's different. You're different. It was like a seagull, but skinnier and pointier. I love that. I almost pounced on a DJI action, but I just, I know I'm out of focus there. It's bullshit. I hate that. I'm looking for a tiny pocket cam that, that's the only thing. I don't mind bringing this with me. It's cool. If I'm to use something with much worse image quality, it can fit in my pocket. It has to. Or else there's no point. There's shade. I found it. Hey, buddy. Hey, there's a duck. Oh, oh God. Oh, there's a lot of action there. Join your friend. Oh God, there, oh wow. I caught it all on tape. I'm gonna send that into America's Funniest Videos. It's gonna lose. They're not even gonna show it on the show. Wow. <laughs> the next company that could use At least a, an elbow in the back. Black Magic. Why aren't they making like a friendlier version of their amazing cameras? Pocket 4K, ow! 4K, 6K, amazing, but zero usability. No autofocus, no stabe, no nothing. Just make a YouTuber's version with your like 4K raw. That's it. But flippy screen, autofocus, face detect, you could do it. Blackmagic knows stuff. Make it full frame though, Sony E-mount. And then we can at least use some wide stabilized primes Then you don't need the IBIS. Then you have internal NDs with like that 16 to 35, 24. Potato Jet uses it, it's stable. That's enough, I think, maybe. The next person <laughs> that's running this company, Olympus. In case you haven't noticed, this week has been a interesting experiment. Monday's, no, Tuesday's video was shot with the Sony a7S III out in nature. This same situation. Oh, God. Oh, man. And then Thursday's video was shot with the Fuji X-T4. Similar situation out in nature, just handheld. And now we're doing the Olympus EM1 Mark III. Same thing. Wow. 
just to see who's the better vlogger out in nature. And Olympus is up there, but can you imagine Olympus with like the GH5S sensor? Can you imagine it? I think the reason Panasonic's not using that sensor with IBIS is because it's too big for their lenses. They know it, they can't move it. They have the Sony E-mount situation where it's like too small. I know all about too small. I know it well, that's how I spotted it. That's how I saw it. Olympus EM1 with a better sensor, because that's the problem here. The image quality is, you have everything. The best stabe, best autofocus, pleasing colors. It's just the, Im the sensor, I think. It's over sharpened because of the lack of detail. Something's wrong with it. It's fishy. What is my end game here? I'm just, I'm trying to get over here because it's slightly shady and I think that's gonna be cinematic for some reason. I won't have raccoon eyes, but there will be nothing to look at. That's pleasing, there's spiders. Why is there a pop can? Oh, kids, teenagers, you're ruining our world. He agrees, he agrees. Hey buddy, I'll admit it would be nice to have a zoom lens right about now, just to zoom in on that bird, but I don't have one. Olympus is stupid with it. Oh. <laughs> All right, I abandoned that dream. That was had nowhere good. So I'm interested to see if Olympus will even release anything worthwhile, but you never know, they might. Sony just needs to go to a play or something. Get some emotional fire going. See some, they're so clinically void of life. Like you would show up at a planet, it's like there's nothing here, even though planets don't exist on our flat earth reality. It's like every lens they make, they focus on the sharpest possible. That's the ugliest way to make a lens. If your show is just this, and you wanna like show the details of rocks, oh wow, where are these coming from? Any jewels in there? Not today, but maybe next week, huh? Oh wow. Not for the human face, you face ass. What the hell, man? Showing every pore. Beautify me, Sony. Your color science is bullshit. Same with their little brother Zeiss. This super sharp, that 55 mil. That's ridiculous sharp. Show up to a wedding with that. Oh, I took your photo. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I can see your makeup pasting and melting halfway. Yes! Fuji could use, rumor has it, X-H2 coming out with a new sensor, newly designed, new processors that could leapfrog them into respect. Their autofocus is just so bad. It was losing me all the time. It just, it's not good and it will never will be. Fuji's fine if you wanna put a box right here and stay within the box and maybe lean in with inside, but never venture out. Don't switch hands. Just develop the strength in your one giant arm and walk around the city pushing people over taking them out of burning buildings. There you go, your giant ass arm. Their algorithms are off. You turn your head, boom, gone. What kind of life is that? When it comes to Canon, I think all they need is some wide primes. That 24 mil 1.8 rumor, I could handle it. I can do 20, this is 24 mil. That's wide. When you're on the nebula, that's cool. 24 might be better than the ultra wide. Ultra wide, you end up being goofy with it unless you switch to a telephoto in the cinema could be yours. Hi there, name's Jerry Thompson Lewis. I'm from Cinema Industries. We got it. Perfect lighting, top down sun, washed out beach. Shutter speed, 32,000 if it was a foot. This is the cinema and I'm definitely in focus and life is good. That bird is burping. He's like growling. Am I even in the shot? Was I just so far away you couldn't see me no matter what the hell I was doing? I should have been more like here. Ah, oh, damn it. There it is. Thanks, flippy screen. You had my back. What were we even talking about? I have notes. Why aren't I reading any of them? I turned on beauty mode. I got it. <laughs> I want to see how Olympus tracks me around. So yeah, Canon, they have interesting things that are rumored to be announced. Some, I forget all the ones, but like a nice 
15 to 90. F4 would be cool. Oh, I'll go to the lake. I don't deserve to be here. I realize that. I always thought myself that Canon had a cheap looking image. Not worthy of my respect. But if you let them into your heart, I'm backlit and now it's a movie. Kenna needs an RP update that doesn't suck. Something not so cheap looking. And then some nice budget primes. Something like that 50mm 1.8 apparently has some weird focus issue. Like not that cheap. It doesn't have to be $200, like 500, something nice. Tony two primes. Although I do demand the 1.4s. I see it now. Why have full frame? If you're not gonna go 1.4 or more with a Voidy Lander. Oh, a family showed up. I swear this is impossible to access. You saw that mountain, they all climbed down it, even the kids. Oh, I thought I was special. We learned nothing. We never do, but I just wanted to give some companies some pointers and explore the options that Micro Four Thirds felt like providing us today with Tone half lit in mode. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna leave, what do you think? Am I correct? Who needs to work on what? Post it down below. After you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt, of course. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.